Hello, this is Khuram Nasir and you are watching Optometry with Khuram. And in this lecture, we are going to learn about the astigmatism. That what is astigmatism? What are different types of astigmatism? How can we find the type of astigmatism with the help of the optical cross? Right? So, let's start the video. And first of all, you are a quite uh, smart optometrist and you know very well that what is actually the astigmatism, right? Astigmatism is actually the specific type of refractive error in which the light rays which are coming from the infinity are focused at different focal points, right? Behind the retina or in front of the retina or on the sensitive layer of the retina, right? So we have discussed in detail uh, about the clinical types of the astigmatism, like we have discussed about, uh, let's recall the last lecture, that we have discussed about uh, the simple myopic and simple hyperopic astigmatism, right? We have discussed about the compound myopic and compound hyperopic astigmatism and we have also discussed about the mixed astigmatism right so let's recall again that what is actually the simple myopic astigmatism if the light rays are coming right and one point focus is formed on the sensitive layer of the retina and one point focus is formed in front of the retina that type of refractive error is called the simple myopic and in contrast what is hyperopic astigmatism if the light one light ray or one point focus is formed behind the retina and one is formed on the sensitive layer of the retina this is called the simple hyperopic astigmatism and compound hyperopic astigmatism if both the point foci are focused behind the retina right that is called the compound hyperopic astigmatism right and if both the point foci are focused in front of the retina at different positions at different locations that is called the compound myopic astigmatism right and what is mixed if one point focus is formed in front of the retina and other one is formed behind the retina that is called the mixed astigmatism right so now we will discuss about the different uh, types of the astigmatism like we, we will discuss about the regular astigmatism and irregular astigmatism in regular astigmatism you know very well that we have different principal meridians in astigmatism right the different principal meridians you know very well that one is about the axis and another one is for the power meridian right so in astigmatism we have different principal meridians right we have for example we have a specific type of power at 180 degree 90 degree and other at 180 degree so we have two principal meridians right so in regular astigmatism if both the principal meridians are perpendicular to each other this is the point right keep it in mind in regular astigmatism, if both the meridians are perpendicular to each other, what is perpendicular? This is perpendicular, right? 90 and 180, right? They are perpendicular. So if the both principal meridians are perpendicular to each other and the angle between these two is 90 degree, that is called the regular astigmatism. And what is irregular astigmatism? In irregular astigmatism, right? both the principal meridians are not perpendicular to each other the angle between them can be could be 90 degree but they would not perpendicular to each other right in regular again in regular astigmatism we have one meridian one principal meridian at 90 degree and other one other principal meridian is at 180 degree so this is called regular astigmatism right and this is what is the condition it must be perpendicular in case of regular astigmatism and in case of irregular astigmatism there would be like this there would be like this it could be the principal meridian could be in any angle right but they won't be they would not be perpendicular to each other and in that case the astigmatism will be irregular astigmatism right and now we will discuss about the different types of regular astigmatism we will discuss two types of the regular astigmatism one is with the role astigmatism and other one is a against the role astigmatism right so as we have discussed that in with the role astigmatism right we have in any case of the astigmatism we have two principal meridians right and in case of with the role astigmatism right if this is one principal meridian which we called the horizontal principal meridian and one is called the vertical as you can see the vertical meridian this the 90 meridian or vertical meridian is more steeper than the horizontal meridian so in every type of this kind of astigmatism this is called the with the rule astigmatism with the rule astigmatism 
in again in with the rule stigmatism the vertical meridian is more steeper than the horizontal vertical horizontal principal meridian vertical principal meridian is more steeper vertical meridian is more curved than the horizontal principal meridian so in that case we will write it as the with the rule stigmatism and in contrast the against the rule stigmatism in against the rule stigmatism the vertical meridian is less steeper and the horizontal meridian is more steeper or more curved so if the vertical meridian sorry the horizontal meridian is more curved or more steep then it is called against the rule astigmatism right and now let's come to the point that how can we find the type of astigmatism either it is mixed compound or simple myopic or hyper hyperopic astigmatism with the help of the optical cross right so first of all we will learn about uh, how can we find how can we make how can we determine the optical cross how, how can we draw the optical cross right so before that we have to learn about the thumb rule or the rule of thumb remember that suppose we have a table here we have a zero value and this side is of plus 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 one two three four five and in this side we have values of minus we have all the values in minus 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and so on. So we have a table, right? Remember that, remember that if the hyperopia, remember this is hyperopia, for example, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, the plus values are always in concerned with the hyperopia and minus values always concerned with the myopia. Remember that the higher the hyperopia, what I said, the higher the hyperopia, the lesser the power, right? Higher the hypermetropia, lesser the power. This is the rule of thumb, remember it. And this is minus section, higher, higher the myopia greater the power this is the rule of thumb you have to keep it in mind what i said remember that higher the hyperopic value right higher the hyperopic value lesser will be the power and higher the myopic value greater will be the power what does it mean let me explain for example if we are moving from plus 1 to plus 2, 3, 4 and 5, if we are moving in this direction, you can see the hyperopia is increasing. Plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4 and plus 5. The hyperopia is in increasing in that direction. As we are increasing the hypermetropia, it will consider lesser the power. It will make lesser the power as we are moving towards the higher of the hypermetropia. Right? So if I told you that plus 1 carries the greater power or plus 5 so the answer is plus 1 carries the greater power in that case right according according to this rule of thumb right we have plus 1 and we have plus 5 so which 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 is the greater power plus 1 or plus 5 it's plus 1 because in the rule of thumb we have learned that greater the hypermetropia lesser the power so as the hypermetropia will be increased the power will be decreased right and in that case for example if you choose minus 2 is bigger or minus 5 is bigger so minus 5 is bigger because according to the rule of thumb higher the myopia higher the myopic value greater will be the power so minus 2 is less minus 5 is greater but in the plus form plus 1 is greater plus 2 is greater but plus 5 is lesser right i hope this is clear this is the rule of thumb you have to keep it in mind before you want to make before you draw the optical cross so let's now uh, draw the optical cross to determine that how can we find the different types of astigmatism with the help of the optical cross so in viva examination or in theoretical examination you can face such kinds of prescription like you can face plus one with plus four at 90 degree right plus one spherical 
plus 4 cylinder at 90 degree and the examiner can ask that write down the type of the astigmatism here right so plus 1 and plus 4 with 90 degree so we will make an optical cross and this is how we can make an optical cross right so you know very well this plus 1 is spherical plus 1 is spherical and you know very well that spherical means the power is the same at 360 degree of the lens or the cornea if the spherical power is plus 1 then plus 1 is there at 360 degree right so plus 1 will be there at 90 meridian right and plus 1 will be there at 180 meridian as well because power is there in all the meridians so we have only two principal meridians 90 and 180 so in both meridians the spherical, spherical power is there but remember in case of cylinder we have power of cylinder and we have excess of cylinder we have power of cylinder plus 4 and excess are 90 degree remember this is very important line which is which is i'm going to tell you if excess are 90 degree in case of astigmatism remember there are two meridians one is power meridian and one is excess meridian and both of these meridians are 90 apart right if excess is at 90 degree power will be at 180 degree if power is at 180 degree excess will be at 90 degree both of the power and excess meridian are 90 apart to each other they are perpendicular to each other so if here we can see the axis are at 90 degree so it means the power of the cylinder is at 180 degree so we will write that power of the cylinder at 180 degree because axis are at 90 degree so plus 1 plus 1 and plus 4 will be plus 5 here so here it is plus 1 and this is plus 5 so we have plus 1 and we have plus 5 right so both at both the principal meridians the sign is plus plus 1 and plus 5 so it means if the both signs are in plus that would be compound hyperopic astigmatism right because both the meridians are falling behind the retina but at different positions at different locations but signs are same so because the signs are same so we will call it as compound hyperopic astigmatism so we'll, we can write it it's compound hyperopic astigmatism right and now isn't it with the rule astigmatism or against the rule astigmatism in case of with the rule astigmatism we know that the 90 meridian or you can say the vertical meridian is more steeper in case of with the rule astigmatism right so let's recall that rule of thumb here we have plus 1 and here we have plus 5 so which is the bigger amount in case of plus the bigger amount is plus 1 right because we have learned in rule of thumb that higher the hyperopia higher the hypermetropia the lesser will be the power right so higher the hypermetropia mean plus 5 is higher so it is less plus 1 is lesser so it is higher so it means the plus 1 is more curved the plus 1 is more steeper so if the 90 meridian or vertical meridian is more steeper then it would be the with the rule astigmatism so it is compound hyperopic astigmatism and which type with the rule astigmatism i hope it's clear let's learn about the different example now let's in another example with minus signs Suppose we have minus 1 in one meridian and we have minus 3 in other meridian and x's are 180 degree. Right? So let's make optical cross again. So we have minus 1 spherical. Spherical is same at both meridians. So we have minus 1 spherical here and we have minus 1 spherical in that meridian as well because spherical moves around with the same power right and we have cylinder minus 3 and axes are 180 degree so if the axes are at 180 degree power will be at 90 degree so power will be at 90 degree so we'll write at 90 degree here right so let's conclude this optical cross minus and minus plus so minus 1 and minus 3 will be minus 4 quite easy 
minus 1 here. So, now let's find the type of astigmatism. Either it is compound, mixed or simple or either it is with the rule or it is against the rule. So, we have minus 4 at 90, we have minus 1 at 180 degrees. So, it means both the signs carries the minus signs. So, it means it is compound myopic astigmatism. Very simple. It is compound myopic astigmatism, right? So, now it is with the rule or against the rule. So, in case of minus, if you recall the rule of thumb, the higher the myopia, the higher will be the power. So, minus 4 is greater value, you know, and minus 1 is lesser value. So, higher the myopia, higher will be the power. So, minus 4 means it is greater power. So, it, it, I, because it is greater power, so the meridian will be more steeper. The vertical meridian will be the more steeper. So, we can say this is, again, if vertical meridian is more steeper, if vertical meridian is more curved, because it carries the more power. More power means more curved. More power means more steeper. So, that's why it is called with the rule statements. Right? So, let's take another example to make it more clear. So, for example, we have plus 1 spherical with minus 1 cylinder at 90 degree. So, let's make an optical cross again. So, how can we make optical cross? We have plus 1 spherical. So, plus 1 spherical means plus 1 here and plus 1 here as well as we have discussed. We have minus cylinder at 90 degree. So, for example, axis of the principal meridian are 90 and power will be at 180, right? So, we will write here because axis are at 90 degree. So, power will be at 180 degree. So, now let's conclude again plus 1 plus 1 plus and minus minus so it will cross each other and it will, it will be 0 so now this is the point you tell me that plus 1 is greater value or 0 you will say that plus 1 is greater power no remember that if you if you are going to compare that plus 5 is greater value or plus or or this 0 is greater power remember always in case of plus direction remember that 0 is more 0 can have more power than the plus power so if we compare plus 5 with 0 0 have more power if we compare plus 4 with 0 0 have more power if we compare 3 with 0 0 have more power but in case of myopia which minus 1 carries more power or 0 minus 1 remember it this is the important point in case of plus if we compare plus 5 with 0, 0 has more power. 4 plus 4 or 0, 0 has more power. Plus 3 or 0, 0 has more power. But in contrast, in minus direction, minus 5 is bigger or 0, minus 5 is bigger. Minus 4 is bigger or 0 is bigger, 4 is bigger. Minus 1 even, minus 1 is bigger or 0 is bigger, minus 1 is bigger. Right? So, plus 1 and 0. Which is a bigger one? So it means 0 is more steeper, 0 is more curved, 0 carries the more power. So it means 0 is at horizontal meridian and it means horizontal meridian will be more curved, will be more steeper. And if horizontal meridian is more curved or more steeper, then it is called against the rule astigmatism. So we will say first it is against the rule astigmatism, number one. And now one meridian has zero power and another meridian, meridian has plus, uh, plus one power. So, it is simple plus power. So, it is simple hyperopic astigmatism. I hope this is clear. Uh, we have discussed about the astigmatism. We have discussed about the clinical types of astigmatism. We have discussed about regular astigmatism. We have discussed about uh, the types of regular astigmatism like we have discussed about what is uh, with the rule astigmatism, what is against the rule astigmatism and most importantly that we have learned today that which is most important uh, in, uh, in examination point of view that how can we draw an optical cross and how can we uh, determine how can we find the type of astigmatism with the help of the optical cross. We will see you in the next videos.